Next question five. This is obviously discuss the quantitative aspects of e chemistry, um, specifically e Lagrange, e empirical formula. We'll also be answering a question on amahydrated compounds, Lapoko 5.2. So check out the description box for more content in your for this question paper. So right now, we are given an aspirin, Lago 5.1, which is known by the chemical name, wait for it, wait for it, acetyl salicylic acid. I'm not sure if you pronounce it like that. It, it's quite a, it's a tongue twister, get this one. The empirical formula of aspirin consists of 60% carbon. 44 percent 44 point no no 4.44 percent hydrogen and oxygen we are voted for the oxygen for the oxygen we are not assigned a percentage and it so lago 5.1 they want us to define the term empirical formula so should i write it i don't know but i think i should in case i'll use a definition of empirical formula this is it so it's the slight definer city the simplest it's the simplest ratio in which in which elements of a compound of a compound of a compound are bonded bonded to each other are bonded to each other all right so that's the definition for empirical formula um i don't know what we define again Shani, but this is the best definition i can come up with so for six marks but why is this empirical formula question in a six marks usually i'm i'm, I'm expecting about four marks Nyana, so okay i see i see check we have a carbon that has a percentage of 60.0%. We have a hydrogen. What is the percentage? It's 4.44%. What about oxygen? We don't know. We don't know. So we have to calculate this. Um, usually, the percentages um, of the empirical formula, when added, they should give you 100%. So, 100%, we're going to subtract to 60.0. So, subtract over 4.4. What are we getting? 100 minus 60 minus 4.44. So, it means that e carb, e oxygen here too has a percentage of 35.56%. 35.56%. We actually need the percentage of oxygen because of um, we're gonna convert ama lugansh weight ama ama percentage is weight into into their respective masses, right? So, in a empirical formula calculation, we are assuming a hundred gram mass. That's why si tata ama percentage is weight is converted to ama grams, right? But by a hundred percent of 100 gram is just simply a 100 gram right so it's just for convenience it's just for convenience the 100 grams just know that just know that um in case we didn't know senior gel but the class in i'm thinking with bachogoti just change the percentages to our grams so i'm just trying to explain that part with the yct um change the percentage to our grams okay so we now have our carbon mass our hydrogen mass as well as our oxygen mass um, so for the carbon seen a 60 percent okay not 60 percent but 60 grams 60 grams then for the hydrogen seen a 4.44 gram for the oxygen seen a 35.56 gram okay therefore see we are see divided by 12 for the carbon see we are see divided by one for the hydrogens we are divided by 16 for the oxygen why omo calculator empirical formula the first thing you do you change ama masses wako to ama ama moles right 
we went from percentages so my grams then see a hamba so what is 60 divided by 12 60 divided by 12 i'm getting a 5 and then lana it's 4.44 35.56 six. divided by 16 is equal to 2.22 okay i'm gonna use this 2.22 right so we have to i'm sure about the a empirical formula it's the simplest ratio simplest ratio that's the key word la pagla definition it so the next thing we have to do is get the simplest ratio between lama ratios wonky now so it means that so divide over 2.22 2.22 no five sim dividing or two point two two. Into yenzayo, you take the smallest number of moles you divide the I. Then last twelve one, two four point four four divide by two point two two. I'm thinking it's two. And then five divide by two point two two. Five divided by two point two two. I am getting a two. Right? So the mole ratios, lama mole ratio mole ratio should be converted to their simplest ratio then yeah? they should be com co converted to their simplest ratio um okay wait wait a moment wait a moment wait a moment there's there's something that i'm remembering because lana we we normally don't round off i don't know if i'm making sense now we don't round off per se. I'm a, I'm a ratios weight. So check ala. Five divide by two point two two. See two a two point two. So let's round it off to two decimal places now. Let's round it off to two decimal places. Cause I remember doing some calculation this other this other time. All to find Uti. No, you are doing it all wrong. You don't round off la to the okay you don't round off to the nearest whole number ne? um leave a mat decimal as a mat decimal right so boni link the smallest one la, ne? especially when it comes to getting our ratios if you get a whole number that's fine but if you try a decimal try rounding or rounding it off to two decimal places first ne? if you can change it to a fraction like in this case i'm thinking we should so 2.22 divided by 2.22 it's one we got a whole number 4.44 divided by 2.22 we got a whole number but for this one we are getting a decimal so let's get it um, let's round it off to two decimal places okay round it off to two decimal places um as a fraction what what is it nine over four Nine over four. If you answer Kipuma as a decimal, make sure to round it off to two decimal places and see what can't you express it as a fraction now. So after this, multiplying of four, multiplying of four, or multiplying of four. Now. So utola a nine, utola a eight, then utola a four so the final answer should be c9 h8 o4 o4 the takeaway laguti make sure make sure and make sure and make sure Uti. if you divide ama re ama ama mole swaku and you find Uti answer kipuma as a decimal and not as a whole number round it off to two decimal places instead ne? do that do that do that every time okay so lana we have what here if the molar mass of aspirin is 180 gram per mole what is the molar molecular formula all right so 5.1.3 so ah you know what i can hide this i can hide this 5.1.3 so on the previous question is the empirical formula A2. Let's say empirical formula has okay, not has, but it's this H eight 
and then O4. Just to double check, yes, C9, H8, O4. Okay, so this is the empirical formula. Let's get the molar mass for the empirical formula. Nine. The molar mass for the empirical formula. So it's going to be 9 times 12, 8 times 1, and then plus 4 times 16. See, tolanga again. 9 times 12 plus 8 times 1 plus 4 times 16 equal to 180 okay equal to 180 so sienzani let's see abuya sitata the molar mass of the empirical formula see divide in ale molar molecular mass so sioti molecular mass over um, empirical molar mass molar mass so siotini it's divided the two so the molecular mass it's what it's 180 empirical form formula mass it's 180 as well so the answer is one so it means that in order to get the molecular formula so tata this one and multiply each and every subscript ladder then this is a total the true formula the chemical formula so since it's one it means that sizoba nalo formula lo maba one times nine is nine eight times one is eight four times one is eight as well okay so now you answer it together now you answer it okay yeah you know 5.2 I, I I thought Uguti, for a moment I thought Uguti I was doing a grade ten question a grade ten question la, because of this five point two. Ni chwelega grade ten this question, where they give you the molar mass of hydrated sodium carbonate is found to be two six eight gram per mole. That is hydrated sodium carbonate. Because Uguti, this hydrated substance. In a manzi, it has water. There are water molecules attached to the compound molecules. So the formula of the hydrated sodium um, carbonate is this. Nine. Basically, calculate the number of moles of water X in the compound. Ne? In the compound. So this is what we do. Sinale molar mass. 268 so it's the compound it's the sodium carbonate plus amans right so okay 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 back, back, back. so the idea here the molar mass of amans the molar mass of amans isolated the mass of amans so 5.2 cisoti um so, uh, 269 that's the molar mass of hydrated sodium carbon nate so in order to get the molar mass of the water xofunogutisi calculated the molar mass of the sodium carbonate equal to so it all is on 32 times i don't know what sodium is but in so checker then ct 12 that's carbon that's carbon yeah um plus plus 3 multiplied by 16 i'm thinking it's 21 but let me let me check let me check let me check let me check it time e periodic table yeah let me check my periodic table periodic table Pre periodic table okay okay come on come on open up open up here we go sodium or oh, 23 23 hours close being it close though so 23 lana let us calculate 2 23 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 so total 106 106 gram per mole 
gram per 106 gram per mole so this is the the molar mass for a sodium carbonate i have the molar mass of the sodium carbonate including amines so the molar mass of x h2o lo x lona uti it's the water attached to a lagrange a sodium carbonate and it also represents the number of moles yalamans so the molar mass of the um, hydration it's what so the 269 minus 106 what's the answer uh, 269 minus 106 163 answer 163 gram per mole so lena it's the molar mass it's the molar mass of water in fact, let me not say molar mass. Yes, I okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Molar mass. Am I right though? It's actually it actually should be the mass, not the molar mass. The mass, the mass, the mass of this um, hydration. Ne? Um. So so calculate the number of moles. We're gonna say mass over molar mass. Because we have a number of moles. Now, so come and calculate the number of moles. I have the molar mass. And I also have to calculate the molar mass of a mass. It, something doesn't make sense. La. So this 163, it's actually the mass of water in the hydrated compound. See, divided by the molar mass. Which is 2 times 1 plus 16. Which is 18 one six three divided by eighteen answer one six three divided by eighteen nine nine I should see round off or what so it's I'm, I'm just gonna say nine point zero five I'm gonna round it off to two decimal places mole so these are the number of okay but I think it will be a whole number because the x usually see pala as a whole number so the overall the compound is written like this water where by visa the water of hydration na2co3 multiplied by 9 h2o it simply means that there's nine mole nine moles of water um hydrating the compound ne? hydrating the compound this x represents the number of moles i hope you enjoy this recording yeah to here today the question five uh call log like or share and subscribe if you told us some value out of this um lesson here to here today check out the description box for more content for now as on the next one bye bye